right guys, so today is the day we are going to our house! <laughs> so excited, we're like a couple minutes out and this is gonna be the very first time that we will be going to this house since we own it and it's ours, the paperwork signed, the money sent. Signed, um, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Oh, okay. that's good too, that's good too. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm, I'm yours. yours, there you go. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna take you guys along with us, show you our first reaction, show you some of the plans that we have going on for the remodel and let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> in front of the house with a sold sign. <laughs> I've had a picture with a sold sign on my vision board for like ever. And so this is really exciting. I feel like it's manifestation of one of my dreams and goals coming true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. Yeah, I know, but I just seen it. It was like on my vision board. I had that picture saved on my phone for like years. I think even before I met you. No, maybe not, but just, <laughs> I've had it on there for years. Peter and I were looking for when we were looking for a house was an open concept. I have this idea that we're gonna be hosting all the time even though we don't have any family that lives here. And we're kind of out here on our own but I would love to be able to host parties and things one day. One of our goals is to get the big sliding doors so we can look out into our backyard. That's a reno thing so it's gonna take some time. Eden, are you gonna pick your room? Which one's yours? Which one do you want? Oh! oh. <laughs> does this feel, does that feel like yours? Yeah. Across from the living room is our kitchen. One of the things that I love about this, and I'm gonna show you guys in a second, is that I really wanted a room off the kitchen so that we could have a playroom. If you see our living room now, maybe we'll insert a video. Oh, okay, you want up? <laughs> if you see our living room now, Aiden's toys take over the entire thing. <laughs> From the kids' rooms, we have a restroom, which is nice, convenient. But what is also really nice is that this house is one story, but there's actually another restroom for guests, which is gonna be really great because then that means that we can have our kids' restroom and we don't necessarily need to have guests in their restroom. <laughs> and then we have our laundry room. Right off the laundry room, we have our bedroom, the master. One of the things that we're so excited about is we have double vanities, but they're on opposite sides. So this is obviously gonna be my side. I have a little vanity here that I'll be able to do my makeup and all that kind of stuff, my hair. And my mess will be my mess, and Peter's mess will be Peter's mess. <laughs> then we have our shower. The shower is set up kind of weird in our opinion. The knob is over here, but then like the shower head is way over there. So I definitely foresee us doing something different in here. From here is going to be my closet. And I definitely feel like we're gonna have to do some little judging in there so that it fits all my stuff. But I'm excited about it. I'm not gonna say that I love the way this closet is laid out. It's kind of small, but I feel like we're gonna be able to do some things to make it fit all my stuff, because I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> and then I actually skipped Peter's closet, but this is gonna be Peter's closet. 
And again, I think we'll also do some things in here to like add additional shelving so that he has space. He has way less stuff, but I feel like it could still use a little judging too. From the kitchen, we have the dining room and we're gonna be doing a black accent wall in here, which I'm so excited about. We're actually gonna be doing a black and white theme like in the entire kitchen area, living room. It's gonna be black and white everywhere and I can't wait. And then let's go to that playroom I was telling you guys about. This is across the living room and right here is going to be Aiden's playroom. And I'm so excited about this because like I said, the toys everywhere and I feel like with this room, we'll be able to have him come in here and play. He can drag toys into the living room. But then at the end of the day, when we're ready to like clean up, which we do every single night, Peter and I like to pick up before we go to bed, we'll be able to put them all into his very organized chaos playroom. <laughs> all right, so there's a closet in here. I'm also gonna do a black and white theme just for like the decor. Kids have colorful toys, so I'm not gonna take away his colorful toys, but I'm thinking we'll do some cute little black and white decor for like the base of decorations in here. Let's go to your room. Hey, <laughs> Aiden, are you gonna show everyone your? Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. <gasps> Come on, Aiden. Come on. Let's show everybody your room. Yeah, see, it's this way. It's this way. <laughs> Okay, so Aiden already picked his room. Yeah. This is going to be Aiden's room. We're gonna do the exact same theme that we did the last time in his last bedroom. We're gonna do the same wall over here. We're gonna put the crib over here. There's a TV in here that I think we're gonna take away because he doesn't need a TV in his room. Um, and then closet space. Hey, buddy. Is this your room? And then we have the bedroom for baby number two. <laughs> so obviously I'm not pregnant yet, but this is going to be baby number two's room. I love that they're gonna have rooms right next to each other because when I was growing up, my sister and I had rooms right next to each other. We would always go sleep in each other's beds. So I'm hoping one day when they're a little bit older, they will do that. I used to sneak out of my bed, go sleep with my sister, and my mom would come and find us together. So I'm hoping that they'll have that kind of relationship too. And then this is going to be our bedroom area. I really love that there's actually a window here to the backyard. I think it'll be nice to be able to like wake up and go outside, have our morning coffee, look at our backyard when it's done, which who knows when that's gonna be, but I can just foresee us getting up and like going out and like maybe one day doing yoga or something. So when I showed you the whole house tour, you thought we were finished. Uh-uh. This is the one bedroom that I was talking about. Come on in, nice big space. You have a walk-in closet with a separate laundry. Pretty cool. Honestly, this space I think will be for when we finish with the renovations in the main house, this is where we're gonna be living for the time being. But what I'm saying is when we finish the, with the renovations, if I ever misbehave, this will be my man cave. You're kicking yourself out already. <laughs> Across the way, we have a bathroom with a full shower inside. Come take a look. We still got this space to show you. <laughs> we are still kind of up in the air with what we're supposed to call this. It's either a mother-in-law suite or a casita, which is something that they is new to me and I've never heard of it next before. Next-gen. Next-gen home, next generation. That's what the neighbor called it. That's right. So basically the whole idea here is that it's, you have a bedroom, you have a full bath, full shower, a garage for yourself and a whole kitchenette right here. A full kitchen, dishwasher, stove, microwave, the whole lot. So whoever comes over, you know, just pay us some money, you know, throw it in there. <laughs> We're set. But we have big plans in this space right behind where, where Mariah is. This is gonna be our filming studio for some things. And to finish off this space, we have a really big backyard that we're excited to show you guys. It's only the small portion that's finished, but check this out. Aiden, <laughs> come on. Didn't I give you something?
All right, and this is our backyard. We're super excited about it because it is massive, but it's also super cool because this casita area has kind of like its own little backyard area. And maybe we'll be able to do something different over here and then like block it off. And then from here, we come into the, I guess, main backyard, if you want to call it that. As you can see, the backyard is not done, but I feel like for us that was better because we can really do whatever we want out here and that's what we're the most excited about. I think the fact that like eventually we wanna be able to get a pool, we wanna do like a half and half situation so that we can make sure that the pool is gated because I know that that's like a major concern for you know people who have kids is making sure your pool is gated. So we saw, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. We are so excited to get started on our DIY projects. Peter is going to be doing a lot of the work. Hi, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> And we're gonna share all of that with you guys on our channel. So make sure to like and subscribe and we will be back next time. Bye. Bye.